Hey guys, welcome to the quad workout, baby. So I've been starting off my quad workouts with hip abduct adductions. And why? Because I realized as I was getting stronger in my quads, I was not able to lift as heavy and I started to experience a lot of knee pain due to weak adductors. So please do not neglect the boring movements so you can get stronger in your other movements. Now moving into hack squats. These are freaking killer and if you don't have this in your gym, stick to high bar squats or maybe like a Smith machine front squat. Um, and I did four sets of eight to 12 reps here. You really wanna squeeze your core and push up. There was this fine ass man there. I just wanted to film him, so I'm not creepy. All right, foot positioning to target different muscles. So on the leg press machine, you will see here that you can target different muscles based on your foot positioning. If you want to target your inner thighs and your abductors, you will do high and outer. Now, if you want to target more glutes, a closer stance, it depends on your body type, but just making sure your feet are high, so it's more hip dominant, closer would be quads. Hey guys, so I wanted to kind of come on here and talk about moisture and the good lighting. I wanted to kind of come on here and talk about should you bulk, should you cut first, or you know, what should you do? And there's a lot of you know, back and forth, like, you know, you wanna lose fat, but you don't wanna lose your butt, or maybe you've tried bulking and then you gained a bunch of body fat, so now you're traumatized, or, you know, you just don't know where to go, right? So a lot of people always talk about bulking and cutting, but what we don't talk about is maintaining. 
And you're probably like maintaining, like why would I wanna maintain where I'm at? I'm trying to look different. So let me just enlighten you a little bit. When you eat at maintenance, a few things happen. You gain more muscle, you lose more body fat because you're gaining muscle and you're fueling your body enough. And you are able to kind of, depending on where you're at with your relationship with food, kind of just get to a place where you're just like eating a good amount of food. Most people, what I see, the problem and the issue with their habits and their physiques, why they can't get to where they're at, is they're either under eating and over training. I know under eating does not mean starving yourself or does not necessarily mean starving yourself or anything like that, but most people think they're eating enough and they're not. And then once you actually put them on a plan, they're like, oh shit, like I would have never eaten this much food if I wasn't on this plan. So, um, now again, like I said, this all depends on where you are at and your fitness journey because if you wanna cut body fat, but you've been yo-yo dieting, like, and you're eating low calories and you've been doing cardio, you just haven't been seeing results, you probably have no other choice but to raise your calories. And that doesn't mean going from 1,000 to 1,200 calories straight to 2,000. It means slowly adding in 50 to 100 calories a week, bi-weekly, and you will maintain, but just continue to recomp and look better. That's reverse dieting. Get, getting your hunger hormones better, your metabolism back, running properly again. Those are things you have to keep in mind. You can only do that.